Passengers using the Flight Jamaica service will still have to in transit in Jamaica before heading to New York, while for Caribbean Airlines, the transit point will be Trinidad and Tobago. For some time now, Guyanese passengers have complained about the long hours they would have to endure before heading to New York and returning back to Guyana. A document coming out of the U.S. Transportation Department indicates that a decision was made to deny the request because they were unable to prove that there was a need for additional Georgetown to New York services. According to the U.S. authorities, the Airline Pilots Association and Airlines for America each filed consolidated objections to the applications of Fly Jamaica and Caribbean Airlines Limited. The Pilots Association was in support of the application of the two airlines being denied. The body pointed out that Caribbean Airlines operation is being subsidized by the government of Trinidad and Tobago and as such a foreign subsidy of the alleged type would impede the ability of the U.S. carriers to compete. Airlines for America supported the association also saying that the department should focus on the residents solution of issues affecting U.S. carriers in the Caribbean region. It was only July 16 that Fly Jamaica filed their application while Caribbean Airlines filed theirs just two days after. Friday last, Fly Jamaica had its inaugural flight from Guyana to New York via Jamaica. The partly Guyanese-owned airline was hoping to break what they view as anti-competitive conditions where Caribbean Airlines is the only carrier providing non-stop service in the New York-Georgetown market.